Hi darlings, how are you? This is going to be for my Geminis and this is going to be for the week of the 9th through the 15th of July. I hope you guys are doing well. I'll be using my Tarot in Wonderland Tarot deck and the classic Tarot to clarify. So let's see what messages we have for you, Gemini. So Gemini, this is for you, the magician. You're very magical. You got all the tools you need. Are you aware of that? I don't think you are. The Nine of Swords, what are you worrying about? What's keeping you up at night? What's giving you fear and anxiety? What's worrying you? Why are you in your head? Too many thoughts, huh? Get a pen and paper and write it down. Get a journal. Just write down all the thoughts. Trust and believe. Just write them down. Solve the ones you can and throw out the rest. And the ones you can solve, write down the solution. How are you going to go about it? The Ten of Wands. Got some extra responsibility here, but you're still moving, or moving forward. You got your strength here. Ooh. Ooh, you found your strength back. Good for you. Uh, and you feel fulfilled. You're feeling good about something. Ah, uh, because you didn't give up the faith. You didn't give up the hope. You kept your eye on the prize. The Six of Swords. And now there's calm in your environment. And there you are, the Queen of Swords, Gemini. And the Ace of Swords, you're going to have the clarity you need or the communication you're waiting on. Don't you worry. So let's see the Magician. Okay, so on top of the Magician, we got the Two of Pentacles, we got the Seven of Cups, and we got the Eight of Wands. So, what are you feeling off balance about? You're feeling off balance about some finances? You're going to have a lot of opportunities open to you pretty soon, and it's coming fast. You are the Magician. There's a lot of magic around you. You just need to open your eyes and see it. The Two of Pentacles, the Seven of Cups, and the Eight of Wands. Then you got the Nine of Swords here, worrying. Are you worrying about the Six of Responsibility here? Mm. You're worried because there was a sudden change. Oh, you got a lot of worry on you. It had to do with the fire energy. 
It had to do with a Leo, an Aries, or a Sagittarius. There's a sudden moment, sudden, um, sudden change, chaos, confusion, disaster. Or maybe you suddenly started seeing something about this person that's got you in your head a lot. It's keeping you up at night. I have the tower. I have the nine of swords and the king of wands on top of the nine of swords. There's a lot of worry, a lot of chaos around this, in this energy here. Pay attention. This energy probably gave you some extra responsibility. Or it's going to give you some extra responsibility. On top of the Ten of Wands, you're going to um, successfully um, complete or accomplish what you're going to accomplish. I don't... You're going to overcome this moment. Whatever is happening or whatever is going to happen, you will overcome it. I got the world card. I got the six of wands. Six of swords. Sorry. I got the world card, the six of swords, and I got the five of cups. You're going to accept it. And you're going to bring calmness back to your environment. It's going to come full circle. Always remember, if anyone has ever done you anything wrong, it comes back to them. You don't have to do anything to them. And sometimes you can be their karma too. But if you keep your hands out of it and you leave it, let it be, they'll get theirs. I guarantee it. I guarantee it. There's absolutely nothing you have to do. It shall be done. What comes around, goes around. Remember that. The strength card, on top of the strength card, there's an earth energy. There's the king of pentacles. There's the high priestess. And there's the three of, um, the three of pentacles. So it seems like you found some strength. You found your inner strength here. And you may be grounded and you may be feeling pretty sure yourself financially. You started using your intuition and started believing in yourself and listening to yourself. And then the universe starts saying, you know what? We're going to work something out for her or him. Teamwork. They're making something for you. There's some kind of partnership they're building for you. And this King of Pentacles, this could be an energy. This could be a Virgo, a Taurus, or a Capricorn in your environment. Whatever it is, though, you need to use your intuition. And pay attention to yourself. Listen to your voice within. The world card. On top of the world card. We got the three of cups. We got the seven of pentacles. And we got the eight of swords. All right. So you successfully um, overcame whatever it is that's happening. Or whatever happened. Okay. And you started your celebration because of whatever partnership that came in or came in front of you. You got happy. You celebrated something. You planted something, some seed you planted, and you could start looking at long-term things. However, you got a lot of negative thoughts, and you've put a lot of restrictions on yourself. You have tied yourself up, darlings. Okay? You got to ease off. Sometimes it's hard to, to turn down or turn off these thoughts. You got to do that for yourself. Get a paper, get a pen, write things down. But you got to stop doing this to yourself. It's not healthy. Go start meditating. Learn about meditation. Do research. Start meditating. Start finding yourself. Start finding your peace. I don't want you to rely on these cards. I want you to rely on yourself. I'm way different than so many people who do this. I tell you, there are possibilities, my darlings. You just have to believe in yourself. Believe in love. Forgive yourself. Visit those traumas. 
become whole, complete, and every day you can have peace in your life, no matter what the situation is. And there are going to be times that you will feel shaky, but you will learn how to bring yourself back in. I have a coach. I had a coach. She's still like coach. She's my good friend too, Jillian. But I have a coach. But she helped me along the way. Because there were times that I get like this and I feel like, oh my goodness, what am I going to do? How? You got to just breathe. And bring yourself back in. Meditate. Find quiet time. Quiet your mind. And you will get out from that feeling. And then you got the star card here. And all happiness and hope. And you can keep your eye on the prize because it's coming. You got the knight of pentacles. You're working hard. You're very productive. You got a routine done. You're responsible. You got things going on. And guess what? You got the so it was the knight of pentacles, the ace of pentacles, and you got the page of swords. You got you got some new financial opportunity ahead of you, or you coming into some kind of money, you're getting a raise or something. There, but there's some money that's coming in. And the page of swords is gonna give you some new ideas, and you're waiting for it. I think you're aware that this is gonna happen. And you got the six of swords. Calmer waters are or calmer environment, but you're moving to calmer waters. So you got the Ace of Wands, you got the Six of Wands, and you got the Five of Swords. So the Ace of Wands are new beginnings, inspiration. The Six of Wands, you will be victorious no matter what. You will be. Once there's love involved, once there's healing involved, you will be victorious. Once you start knowing the truth that dwells within you, <laughs> you'll be amazed. <laughs> so you got the five of swords. You have a little conflict around you, but you can always walk away from that conflict, okay? You don't have to take part of it. Um, some kind of loss could be disagreements, competition, defeat. You know, but it could be within. You know, the overthinking and stuff, that's conflict. So on top of you, Queen of Swords, there's the sun. Happiness and positivity. The Ten of Cups. Happy family. And the Page of Wands, you got some inspirational ideas and you're going for it. No matter what, you are going for it. And you got the Ace of Swords here. You're going to have mental clarity or you're going to have new communication communication you've been waiting for you got the queen of pentacles you got the four of oh excuse me you got the four of cup cups and you got the ace of cups so the queen of pentacles i say this is an energy that's in your environment maybe or you the money manager you learn to take care of the money are you saving some money now are you you better start doing that so you got the Queen of Pentacles, the Four of Cups. You got some thinking to do. You might have some regrets. You might be deep in thought about something. But darling, there's the Ace of um, Cups. And I say that's a new beginning. Some kind of new love, maybe. Abundance. Look around, you shall see. I love you guys. You take care of yourselves and I will chat with you soon. Bye.